Well, hi there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go over the code that I added today and making the terrain scroll. Um, I've changed this video for 2022-2023 school year um, because I looked at my old code and realized there were definitely better ways to write it. And so I kind of went off the reservation this morning and uh, started changing things. So um, we're going to be using arrays to help make our terrain scroll. At the moment, if I look at the uh, exercise over here, Come on now, come on now. And if I zoom out here, if I run demo, I'll see here that, okay, my ship's flying, the obstacles are moving, and um, the terrains are scrolling from the right-hand side to the left-hand side. So to pull this off, we're going to Use arrays. Arrays are like containers of containers. Our first array is going to be called our terrain array, and it will be equal to a set of square brackets. And I will copy that. I will paste it and change upper to lower. This is going to set up the two arrays. Each of these arrays are going to contain individually all of the individual rectangles that we make in our upper terrain and all of the individual rectangles we make in our lower terrain. Also, Booth, this thing's got all of um, the link for your vehicle. Link for the vehicle here is going to be different in this new project. I'll go back to adding the terrain, copy my link. Here, I'm making the terrain scroll. You're going to find that the link for your ship is now on line 29. Paste that right there. And now I've gotten rid of Bozo the Clown. I've got my ship. Now I'm going to go get my colors. There's my font. And, oop, that's the wrong one. There we go, my fonts and my colors, copy those, paste them. Now I've got my font and I've got my colors. And because I really like my lose message, I'm gonna go grab my lose message. Paste my lose message. And now everything has got my colors, it's got my ship, and it's got my lose message. All right, cool. Now, we just made those two lines of code where we made our upper terrain array and our lower terrain array. I'm going to copy each of those, control C. And then we're going to go down to the add terrain function. Add terrain is down. There we go, right there. And the first one I'm going to paste right here, and the second one I'm going to paste right there. And this is going to be in the ith position to be equal to the terrain. And down here, again, in the ith position will be equal to the lower terrain. These two lines of code here allow me to store each of the terrain objects, the terrain and the lower terrain, in the upper terrain array and in the lower terrain array for every ith element we make. So now when I click the Run Code button, nothing really looks different here, but understand that all of these 20, actually there's 21, there's a 21st rectangle here off to the side that's off screen. These 21 rectangles that are right here, they're all stored in the upper terrain array. These 21 rectangles are individually stored in the lower terrain array. Now, I'm going to go grab that part, upper terrain array. Here in my move terrain loop, it runs on two for loops. This first for loop handles the upper terrain. The second for loop handles the lower terrain. In the upper for loop, where I have a one right here, I want to paste my upper terrain array dot 
length. It should be upper terrain array dot length. That will make this loop execute however long my upper terrain array is. And then we're going to make a variable called object. Oops. And we're going to make that equal to upper terrain array in the ith element. That's going to get the ith element out of that array and store it in this variable called object. And then we're going to make this object move. And with that line of code, we'll see that our upper terrain, ooh, it's not moving, but I know why. I never made the function call to move terrain. Let me grab that, move terrain, and go to the game loop. Here in the game loop, in the game function, you'll find a comment that says move the terrains. Paste that function call there. And now, yes, the top, the top terrain element is moving, but it's exiting the field. That's because we need to add some more code down here. We need to look at when our object dot get x, when that tries to be less than negative terrain width, then I want to set the position of my object to the Screen width for x, 0 for y. And now my top terrain is scrolling. My top terrain scrolling very nice. I got me a scrolling terrain on the top. Now, I'm going to copy from right there. Err, terrain array dot length, copy that. And here in that one, put low and then paste it. And I'm going to grab that lower terrain array. Actually, you know what? I just grab this right here, and I'll fix it. Grab that line of code, paste it. We're going to call this object 2, and it's going to be the lower terrain array in the ith element. And then I'm going to make it move. Object 2 dot move. And then I want to look to see if object two if object two tries to be less than, if the x position tries to be less than negative the terrain width. And I'll set object two's position. And it almost works, but my bottom array now scrolls across the top, and that's because I need to handle the Y position of that lower terrain. The Y position is going to go to strain height, subtract, object 2 dot get height. And now both of my terrains are scrolling just like I want them to perfectly. Good luck. See you in class.